Welcome to the Little Beans Read Aloud. Today we will be reading the book Who Hatches the Egg, all about eggs, by Tish Rabe. I'm the cat in the hat. We must leave right away. Can you guess what I'm cooking for breakfast today? Eggs. They're delicious. Boiled, scrambled, or fried. Come on and jump in, and let's go for a ride. Most eggs that we eat come from chickens. It's true, but eggs come from many different animals too. Laying eggs is what birds, insects, and spiders do. Most amphibians, fish, and reptiles do too. When you look at eggs, you find lots of surprises. They have different shapes, different colors, and sizes. This bird's egg is cone-shaped. She laid it on this ledge. Cone-shaped eggs cannot roll. They won't fall off the edge. On this egg are spirals that help it to grip. Onto rocks or in sand, so the egg will not slip. Lace wing lay eggs on stalks hanging from plants. This helps to keep them safe from hungry ants. What shape are insect eggs? Here we can see that their eggs may be oval. Round, long, thin, or flat. Eggs are all kinds of colors: red, white, green, or blue. Some have different patterns, like these eggs here do. Some mothers build nests and lay their eggs inside them. Nests are one way that a mother can hide them. A crocodile digs a hole for her nest in the ground, then covers it with dirt, leaves, and grass in a mound. Not all nests are made in the same size and shape. This nest is a shallow hole that's called a scrape. Some birds dig a scrape and line it with vegetation, which helps keep eggs warm. It's natural insulation. A sea turtle crawls out of the sea onto land, and then digs a hole for her nest in the sand. Will she have boys or girls? That depends on which part of the nest they are laid in. Here, look at this chart. Deep in the cool sand, boys will likely be born. Girls usually hatch up where the sand is warm. Not all birds build nests. This owl you can see may lay her eggs in a hollow tree. This cuckoo found a bird's nest and laid her egg there. Then she flew off and left it in the other bird's care. Some mothers watch over the eggs that they lay, but some lay their eggs and then leave right away. A Nile crocodile guards her nest day and night. If a predator comes, it is in for a fight. This butterfly lays eggs, then leaves them behind. They are green and blend in. 
and are hard to find. Some animal dads are never about, but some stay around and are there to help out. Till they hatch, this male toad will carry his eggs in long strings of jelly that circle his legs. To keep his eggs safe, a dad jawfish will hide the eggs in his mouth, which he keeps open wide. You can see for this dad, it is no easy feat. For five to seven days, he can't drink and can't eat. A seahorse is a fish, and what seahorse dads do is give birth to their babies. It's amazing, but true. This fish looks like a horse with a long curled up tail. The female lays her eggs in a pouch on the male. The male holds the eggs in his pouch till the day. He gives birth to the babies which soon float away. Most mammals don't lay eggs but mano trims do. A platypus lays eggs. An echidna does too. An echidna lays an egg that is an oval in shape. It is small and about the same size as a grape. When it hatches, a baby called a puggle breaks out by using an egg tooth on the end of its snout. A platypus digs two burrows, a plain one for resting and one lined with leaves. That one is for nesting. She lays up to three eggs and as I have seen, each egg is the size of this pink jelly bean. After three or four months, her babies can swim. They get to the water and then glide right in. How do little chicks grow? I will show you the ways. A little chick grows over 21 days. The egg yolk provides food while the chick grows in there and while it is growing, it needs to get air. There are holes in the shell. Through these pores, the air flows in and out, out and in, as the little chick grows. This is the way the chick looks on day three. She is tiny and looks like a small letter C. Here's the chick on day seven, after only one week. Look closely, you'll see, she is growing a beak. By day 12, she can wiggle, and bumps will begin to pop out all over the little chick's skin. These will turn into feathers. It's day 21, the chick's ready to hatch, all her growing is done. An egg tooth on her beak helps the chick begin chipping. The process of breaking the shell is called pipping. Cracking open the shell is not easy and takes all the little chick's strength till the shell finally breaks. Now she's out in the air, her feathers dry and quick. Very soon she'll turn into a cute fluffy chick. In five or six months, she will be fully grown and able to start laying eggs on her own. Here's a hard question. 
the kind that is worst, the chicken or the egg? Do you know which came first? The end. What is something that you learned from reading this book? Today, I learned that there are eggs that are in the shape of spirals. That was so new for me. Thank you so much for reading with me and I'll see you next time.